So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the cube root of this. Now, the one thing I want you guys to understand, whenever you're simplifying a radical, a lot of times you don't have to do this, but a lot of times it makes sense to break them up into the cube root of 27 times the cube root of x to the fifth times the cube root of y. Okay. So the rules of radicals allow us to do that. As long as they're separated by multiplication or division, we can break it up into several radicals. Okay. So now I got to take the cube root of 27. So the cube root says what number multiplied by itself 20, three times. So you guys can see I wrote down the square numbers as well as the cube numbers so you guys can have that on top of your brain to get practice with them so you guys can immediately identify if a number is a square number, a cube number, a quartic number, and so on. Well, you guys can see that the cube root of 27 is 3. Okay. Now, for variables, it's a little bit different story. Because variables, even though I did give you the cubed, um, the cubed variables, the cube root of a variable, we have to take the cube root of variable, we have to have that variable raised to the third power. So that would just be equal x. I can take the cube root of x cubed, right? So in this example here, um, I cannot break up um, x to the fifth I, is not the same thing as x cubed. However, I can break this down into x cubed times x squared. Would you guys agree with me that x cubed times x squared is the same thing as x to the fifth? Yes. And then times the cube root of y. Well, the cube root of x squared or x cubed, that goes, that's going to um, simplify just to x. And then I'm just, oops, I'm sorry. X. And then I cannot take the cube root of x squared. So that's going to remain under the radical. So my final answer is 3x times the cube root of x squared y. Anybody have any questions? Yes, sir? No, yes. Subtract. I didn't subtract anything. What do you mean? Where? Okay. <laughs>